Okay, here goes nothing. Last time I was cut off when my ISP decided 1 o'clock. Once again was the prime time for... I guess doing maintenance? In the middle of a war. So let's pick that war back up. I'm attacking the Timurids. I had just lost land in three consecutive wars. <laughs> against Delhi and Ming. My force limit is ever shrinking. So let's see if I can uh, have a chance of recovery here. But I have an Ottoman alliance now, which is actually makes me, in effect, the strongest I've ever been. The Ottomans aren't handing over land, so I do need to siege as much of it up personally as I can. It's a bit of a bother, but... Alright. <laughs> Guess who's got the tactics to win this? This guy. I will upgrade my infantry immediately. So hopefully, since they can't possibly core any of this anymore, they will start giving it to me. I can't exactly expect them to leave the war because I need them to win. To win anything at all. I need them to start walking forward and winning my battles, that's for sure. It's just Timurids and Bamanas, luckily. Alright, there goes their 60 stack. Now my troops can probably win now too because of the tactics bonus. So I'm gonna hope they do the fighting so that I can do the sieging. It does look like they're going for it.
Where are they going? Why are they going that way? Hmm. Another thing that's necessary in this, if I can get Bamanis to drop their alliance with... Oh, they've lost their Delhi alliance. Ooh. Ah, it's tempting to attack Delhi now. Oh, Delhi's attacking Timurids too. I have a truce with Delhi, though. For quite a bit longer, so I suppose that's not gonna happen. Okay, he's gonna chase down my troops, which means I gotta get the hell out of there. Maybe I'll go engage the Ottomans. Maybe I'll get lucky. Ah, they are. Perfect. That'll be a one battle for me. Looks like the Ottomans are doing their job over there, too. So they transfer nothing to me, which is really annoying. Another thing is I've got to be absolutely sure I take land in this, like, as much as I can. Because if I don't have land, I stagnate even more than I already am. I like how the 60,000 troops are just standing at my border instead of dealing with their army. That's pretty good. It's good text. Or at least, at least they're giving me that land rather than holding it for themselves like they are in the West. Keeping an inordinate amount of land for themselves. It's really worrisome. This doesn't actually make a lot of sense considering how the AI usually operates either. At least I have a claim on this that they should give it to me. I've seen them do this before where they actually eventually transfer it to. So we'll see what they decide.
If only I could convince them to go and see something useful. I have a new fort here. Ah. Level two. I only have 6,000 people to siege. I better get there first before they try to decide they want it. Sadly, the state of affairs. Decent chance I will have to give the Ottomans something of this to placate them, because I have to have them on my side. It's pretty much imperative. To me. Can I guarantee them? Probably not. Nah. Cleaning up stuff on my border. They are going. I'm going to need that. I'm gonna have to take that land. Where's Balmanas and all this? Where have they been? Are they in another war? They're fighting Delhi. Well, that's actually perfect. Rival to I'm not rival to Delhi. But they're stronger than I am, so I can't guarantee them either. I'll let him take this back. And take it from him. Just gives it to me instead of the guy. That's what I need right now.
I can get the Artemis to go to Bamanis and weaken them sufficiently. Break their alliances. Okay, it looks like I got all the land on this side sieged. I'm gonna have to deal with their Bamanis' stack here. Oh, he's coming home. That's fine. Unless Bamanus now has Sec-19, I should easily be able to kill him even though his general is amazing. So I'm gonna go for it. I think I've got that. It's a massive tactics, tactics advantage. Or... maybe not. Only at forty nine percent. Because by minus is adding a lot to the war. Yeah, I really have to go to by minus. Break through Timur Alliance. Then keep the Gajad Alliance, that's fine. Is that the Ottomans actually going for them? It is. How did the Ottomans get this? Seriously. Why are they holding all this land for themselves? It doesn't make any sense. Like, what are they going to do with it? By minus. It's causing me so much trouble here. Just as they have through the entire campaign. Oop. He's gonna fight them. Delhi. I think Delhi is stronger than the Timurids now, and I have to deal with them. At least civility is boosting is significantly cheaper than it used to be. So do I go to Balmanis? Or do I let the Ottomans? The Ottomans have high enthusiasm. I'm just really annoyed that they're holding all this land so I can't take it. Why would they do that? 
Safeguard Eastern Anatolia. They have claims. They have one claim on the Timurids. I don't even see a whole lot of purpose in fighting. I have to attack Korea soon, too. That's pretty important. So in theory, with little else to do, the Ottomans actually secure this area. Might go to Bamana, so it looks like Delhi's doing it. And Delhi's so powerful off the backs of taking all my land for free. I'm almost tempted just to run to Korea, so I can deal with that immediately. Yeah, but I'm honest, isn't going to want to stay in this war. I'm going to send most of my troops to Korea. I do have to keep a force in Timurids, though, because they will- the Ottomans will take anything for themselves and not give it to me. And if I have to make this war drag out in order to get land, I'm going to have to do it. That's just how it is. If I'm lucky, Delhi will peace out. And I can take the northern area. If I'm really lucky, but I might as well stop attacking me. Wait, where are they going? Let's see where they stop. If they stop in uh, Chagai, I'll let them. Yeah, it doesn't like to stop if you're sending a larger force anymore, I've noticed.
Come on, Ottomans, go kill Bobanus. Do some real damage. I could just piece them out and then we'd have 100%. But as long as the Ottomans are willing to continue here. Did Gianna go to Clearborn and bomb on us? Yes! Also, the longer I wait, the more likely Delhi will not get to take whatever the hell they want. Fantastic. The Ottomans have zero interest in going to Bamanis anymore, apparently. We have no war score with them, so I can't actually demand a thing. It looks like Delhi might be good for that. In fact, they've already lost their alliance. So, there's nothing I want from Bamanis. I'm actually sure my armor can beat Korea. Well, there are two tanks behind me, though, so that's a fairly good sign. So which part of this is actually the region I need? All the way in here. Ugh. But at least a lot of this lands in the same culture as me. I'll be pushing my way into them. Peace out or not to peace out. Currently I'm keeping Delhi from getting more. And they're one of my several regional big bosses now. <laughs> now I have four major powers already against me instead of just three, which is pretty cool. Yeah, the Japanese Navy is pretty strong, so I think if there is trouble with Korea, they'll ship over some men, right? Yeah, they got lots of transports. They actually allied with Ainu. It's kind of funny.
not like I have any prestige anyway. Just out of curiosity, what am I up to? 715, I'm actually lower than when I became a kingdom. Okay, I gotta declare war. I don't know how much longer it's gonna be until they re-ally Ming. But I'll have no help from Japan unless I peace out of my other war. Delhi has zero war exhaustion, pretty much. So annoyed. Nope, the name of the game is Land, so. And this apparently was a holy war. So I can take whatever I want. Good thinking, me. Okay, so that's all I have access that I have claims on, to my great annoyance. Beyond that, I guess I should take anything I can hold. Let's knock bomb on us out of this, I'll be able to get whatever I want. Holy crap! Suddenly, Ottomans just gave me land. Oh, this is... Ottomans. You're the best. In that, I kinda hate you kinda way. Okay, so first things first, claims. Well... Samarkand is the only one. In that case, let's look at the relative values. This area is garbage. So let's forget about that. Let's take the good land. There's 99. Are any of these Persian cores? Where's Persia start? Way in here. It's too much overextension, actually. This is not good. 100% overextension. 99. That's not bad. I get 54 power projection, which is my favorite part. Alright. Sweet. That's my biggest land game of just about the entire campaign. Whew. So now if I declare war, it'll be good. I can also start annexing Chukchi. Oh, I didn't give them stuff in the peace deal. I forgot. I'm gonna have to, uh, be careful. Uh, 
All right, immediately, let's go to war. Holy war against Korea. How was that? So I'm not entirely sure I can beat him. But I am sure I can make things damn expensive if he tries something. So I'll send half my army over here. And the other half will work on uh, rebel suppression if something happens. Well, until something happens. Okay, he doesn't seem confident that he can beat me. Or now he does. Okay. I don't know why he ran around the long way. Yeah, he can easily beat me. Okay, so I guess tactics don't matter that much anymore. I've had campaigns where I could just two to one somebody with Tech 19. Then again. I was playing much stronger nations than Mongolia. <laughs> much better ideas. This 13 stack probably isn't enough to do what I need to do over here. I'm going to be relying a lot on Japan. Get the rebels for now. It'll take me a year to cross, but I need to get my men over here. Oh, okay. So I guess the Korean Navy is terrifying. Hmm. Well, I'm all alone over here. much to do but just wait for my armies to crawl across the country. Crawl across the continents, really.
Okay, what was our mission? Which colony? Bayali. That's a terrible place for a colony. I'll do it. Just revoke it immediately. I'm not going to take any chances, so I'm going to let them siege that. I'm going to bring in more troops. And then smash it with my entire army. Because that seems to be what it takes. Since Korea somehow, oh god, Korea can afford to have an army nearly as large as mine on their little peninsula. So I need that land. I need it bad. I also need admin points very badly. Alright. So long, Korean army. Get out of my land. Shit. Oh, they only revolted in those two provinces. Not up here? That's really good. Up here was the dangerous part. Well, they're coming to me, so... Delhi attacks me. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing good ever happens on this campaign. Not at once. We got Kievan separatists. to be done about this. I cannot afford to lose that much legitimacy. Although my king is crazy old. Eh, maybe I'll chance it. I'd rather have the admin. Oh shit, that's his entire army. Well, maybe he'll do the blind thing that the AI keeps doing and just run straight into me. Alright, that colony's gotta go because it's utterly useless. 
And I need another one over here. Where can that use this? It's actually some of my best land. Give me a free cannon, I'll take it. Where's he going to kill Chukchi? needs legitimacy when you have every revolt. Hey, pineapple. Uh, I just really want it. So, <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about it because this game, this campaign is just so rough. It's so horrible. Kind of like it. Uh, I'm going to have a serious issue, actually, because I have revolts coming up that I can't respond to. I don't know why the revolts over here are so much worse. Ah, uh, because I don't... Yeah. Wrong... Wrong culture. So how do I deal with that? Can I deal with it? I guess I can stab up. But that won't be enough. That'll barely slow it. I'd have to stab up. Actually, I can't stab up enough to get rid of that. I need my I need literally my entire army to deal with the Koreans. It's only those two provinces, and I could come take it back now that the cord. Maybe I just ignore them. And if I can respond, I can respond. If not, I go retake it. Because the Korean War is way too important. I'm just gonna go straight for my capital. Where are they going? Improve relations with Bamanas. You can culture ship to Manchurian and form Manchu Ching for the OP ideas. You call those ideas OP? I have free. I make no money because my land is terrible, and I have free reinforcement. That's pretty OP. Can you form, um... Can you form Qing if you... Is the, is the requirement just Manchu culture? I'm honest. Mm. Yeah, I could do that. Hell, if I could ally them, it'd be huge. Besides, I can't culture ship to Manchurian. I have not in this campaign. I am way too, way too, uh, 
too far in. I have way too much land. Where the hell is he going? He's just soaking up attrition across the country. To do that, I need to be able to cover that army. Hello, Delhi. Are you my hero now? Did you take almost no land and then free Coruscant? Did you do that for me, Delhi? Are we becoming friends? Okay, that general has siege, so I'm gonna swap them. Have <laughs> you Coruscant? Yeah, I'll deal with them. I'll deal with them. And all the Timmy cores were lost, so Timurids won't be too bad pissed about it. Yeah, I'm not sure I can make it either, man. But I'm gonna try. Take Yukajin before he takes Alchuka. Alchuka. <laughs> Revolution. Maybe, you know. Wouldn't that make everybody my enemy, though? Wouldn't it, like, destroy my alliances? Because, as a revolution, you... Well, and it might actually make Ming shatter, which would be pretty cool. Alright, I got my... Siege. Let's kill their army. Come on. Nobody gets diplomatic penalties against you for... For being the revolutionary target? powerful their general is, that I have a huge tactics advantage. And I, ha I need double the men to kill him. I know that everybody gets the revolt risk, but I figured there'd be some diplomatic penalties, because there's no way... There's no way they'd just ignore it. Diplomatically speaking. Yes, this is 1.13. All up to date. Yep, Poland, Poland game was finished. 
complete with surprise ending. I got six achievements that run, yep. She could do something about that. Slow it down. A little bit. I'm going to have to send someone over there. Maybe I go ahead and do that now. So I can't attack him anyway, and he's going to be reluctant to attack my army. Now he can beat it. I'm two takes ahead of him now. He's gonna go re siege, and I can't really stop him. But I really want to deal with those rebellions, even if, it makes, even if it does make this war drag on. There we go. Time to cycle revolts for the rest of time. So I can't do a thing about these yet. Kevens. Sabir? Oh, at least they're not. Sabir, really? I need to convert those provinces. <laughs> Where's Corla? Okay, that's a small detour, I suppose. It's about as convenient as it gets. He's even sieges faster than me. I'm just gonna siege in circles until the other army can get back, because there's not else like, much else I can do about it. Still can't afford my own armies.
And defensive bonuses won't matter because they all have more maneuver than me. Let's make the, uh, the king is already a general. I think this is guy. Maybe he'll die. Maybe the rebels will kill him and do the country a favor. There's nobody in the garrison, so we just took it immediately. <laughs> you like what I did there? Yeah, at the very beginning of the campaign, I planned out all my idea groups specifically for that. That, well... Actually, three achievements were uh, very idea group oriented. Let's starve him out a little bit. This army is actually trapped now. <laughs> what is this? Oh, that's fine. Lost all my claims on something. Oh, all my claims on China at once. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? That was not expected. Okay, you guys all need to get over here. Immediately. Uh, nothing is easy in this. Nothing at all. Oh, now he's gonna go for it. I didn't see him moving. He was sieging. The AI usually doesn't like to abandon a siege. Hey, I won a battle. Check that out. Sweet. Now, I want to take this. Because I need to be able to remerge my armies. That should be a priority. And I currently cannot. Because I'm blocked in. Yeah, I love to abandon sieges. Maybe you're AI, I don't know what... I have a hell of a time encouraging them to abandon a siege. Recon piece. You just noticed that, Google? It's been like that for like three days. Oh, Rex Kank. Damn it. Damn it, Google. Where did my power projection go? Oh, I have a huge negative for losing the Ming. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that would actually uh, retain. This garbage. <laughs> I 
just hoping. I'm just hoping to get enough power. Did I beat Russia? Um, I have technically la not lost a war to Russia, if that's what you mean. I don't have any, much interest in Japan. See, look, I have so much trouble controlling the huge expanse of land I already have with so few troops that I can't, like, spread out. That if I had to control Japan too and have a navy so I could shuttle troops back and forth to make sure that doesn't rebel, it would. it's just unsustainable. I don't think I can do it. I just extended this war by about five years just to handle rebels. I know my land is crap and I need more, but I need land that I can use. And that won't be a hindrance. I just don't think... Ah, crap. Well, so long... That stack. There's no way I can save that. I do have colonizer ideas. I have uh, exploration. I'm using it to get land in the uh, Philippines right now. Which is the best land I have, pretty much. Colonizer next to a European in Indonesia. Yeah, think about that. Oh, look. The British finally arrived. This is the first European that's arrived in this area in 1681. I was actually, Russia westernized. I was actually planning to um, colonize next to British Mexico to westernize, and then Russia finished first. Like I've said, nothing has gone well this campaign. Yes, I am Western. Which is the only reason I'm winning any wars right now is because I have better tech. Because everybody has larger armies than me. Korea has an army that could could have matched mine otherwise. Gotta keep that royal marriage going. Should probably dedicate a uh, guy to keeping relations up with the Ottomans. I need this alliance. It's keeping. It's the only thing deterring anybody from attacking me. I've been declared on, I think, more than six times this campaign. And in half of those, I lost land. I could not beat Russia. I'll tell you right now, I've tried. I even attacked them once. Or with the Ottomans, maybe. But the Ottomans aren't going to help me right now.
need to find a way to make money too, because I don't make any money. Not enough to support an army. I'm taking loans just to maintain wars so I can hope to get land that's useful. So I'm slowly dying still, but at least I'm slowly dying in a way that gives me a semblance of hope. Ever played Dark Souls? I have not. I've seen it played. I watched um watched a playthrough of one of those style games. I forget which ones. I think I watched a full playthrough of um Bloodborne. I have a phone call. This might be job related, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 